day out and today we are at the Science Museum here in London. Um, entrance price here is free but you can make a donation either at the beginning or the end of your visit. I um, just recommend that you do that and it's a massive attraction so it'll take a few hours to get around if you want to see everything. And there are special um, halls and galleries open such as Wonder Lab is on at the moment. They are extra prices to go see them as well as the simulators that are here too. So you've got the Fly360, the Red Arrows and also Typhoon simulator and that's on floor 3. It's definitely worth a look around um, so come with us and have a look. the replica of the 747 cutout. It is decorated in British Airways kind of upholstery, um, but it was actually a Japan Airlines aircraft and British Airways kind of changed it all themselves. So as I go up there you can see the upper deck just behind and the camera's a bit blurry, it's so far away because I'm just standing next to another aircraft. And you've got the cargo hold there where there's two people standing as well. But you really get a, si a sense of the scale and the size of the aircraft. It's huge, absolutely huge. <music> third floor of the um, Science Museum here in London and it's kind of just basically all on flight so you've got replicas of the Wright Brothers models cut out of the Boeing 747 as well as the Harrier jump jet and other such aircraft and as you walk around here this is the Dreamer flight section <music> first ever iPod. Well, the first generation of iPod anyway, donated in 2008. So, 10 years ago. So these are the Fly 360 capsules you can take control of your aircraft. And over there, you've got a Typhoon Force. And then you've also got a Red Arrows flight simulator. This is, but I really want this in my living room. Not that my living room is big enough, but um, it's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, and it changes colours. Oh, it's just gone yellow. She's ugly, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, what's that as well? You look at that, over there is the first of a mouse. Is it really? Well, it's a replica. Oh, it's also ugly. It probably looks right in its day, didn't it? I don't know. No, that was it. That was it? Oh. Anyway, okay, bye. Dan's going now. I have always wondered how these phones work. I've never actually used on for. I mean, like the kids' thing as a kid. You know, the little toy one. But that's telling you how it works. So turn it. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? I could go in, shall I? Numbers do I need to put in? So 
say that. Oh, oh, we've gone on to a different section. So... Number six. Sector two. I think I picked two numbers now. Let's go for four. Two gauges. Isn't that fun? I don't know why that's in the museum because that should be in my house. How fun is that? These telegrams. of that thing, whatever it may be. What's over here? What's over here? Some more telephones. From electrical sound. That looks heavy. Door number one is not in service, so we can't go there. Instead, we're going to 4 0. One bit of advice for you, even though we look like Smurfs lower floor, so floor zero, next to the diner, which is just to the right of me here, and you've also got super bugs. I think the air conditioning is from up these vents here. Wait for it. There. So it is really cold and it's so nice. It's boiling hot today, it's like 30 degrees in London. Um, so we've been hot the whole walk around this building. So now we're sitting down in this Smurf section, as I'm gonna call it, and it's so much cooler. Yes. So, diner here on floor zero. It's about £13 for burger and chips. Um, it's quite a nice relaxing like, environment compared to um, the other cafes in here. So we've got super bugs on your left. So it's an IMAX theatre here that shows various science-based IMAX films, such as Hubble, and it's £11 per ticket. Almost right on cue, it's starting to get really busy. Um, it's really dark in this section, I think I can adjust that. Um, let's have a little look around. £16, two sandwiches. I went for a Southwest wrap. Dan's gone for, is it ham and cheese? Yeah. And two packets of crisps. And a bottle of water. Yeah, £16 in total. Um, it's quite cool in here. The rest of the building is really warm, so we're just having a bit of a chill down way. And how does the food taste? Mine's actually really nice. How's yours? It's right. Yeah. It's just a sandwich. Not worth £4. No.
shop. This is the gift shop. It is, yeah. But it's all different sections. There's a lot of stemmies. Give us some prices. Prices for your fossil. I think it's free. I'm joking. <laughs> um, oh, ten pound for a fossil. Oh. It's actually surprisingly cheap for a box of fossil. Imagine this is a what is it? I don't know. It's chemistry stuff. A wall crawler. What about a nice t shirt, Georgie? Why are the prices not like easy displayed as they are everywhere else? How much is that? Five pounds. For a kid, that's tenner. For that two shirts. What? Two pound fifty. That's not bad. I think we're the same price. Yeah. She's gone. So if you want there, it's a fiver. I don't know what this is. Yeah. £3.50. They are free for two as well, aren't they? Very cute microphone. <laughs> oh, it's there. £10. <laughs> or a plasma orb. £18. This is Amazon. Water is 150, but you can get it from the cafe for you free, can't you, Georgie? Yeah, we learned that after we bought bottles. Oh, space food. How much is space food? Ice cream sandwich. Four pound fifty. Can I share that? It says it right there. Oh, look at that. So that's the stand at the Science Museum today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more videos for what to do on your day out in London. So we'll see you soon.